Good morning, it is Tuesday morning, it's raining, but we're about to head to Limerick for the VO Team X test. I'm just picking up Ronan and Emily Hegarty, one of the girls, um, and we're going to head up. It's seven times five minutes with four minutes of work, one minute off, and it's hard to get your max effort in the last one, which is why it's the VO2 max test. But they want you to be exhausted, so it's off your maximum 2k score. So mine's in, in the 550s, so I go off the 550 to six minute protocol. Uh, Ronan's there as well. It starts off uh, like very high actually for, for men, um, for that protocol, it's like 207 is the first one, then like 159 for the next one, then like 150 for the next one, then 145, then 139, then 135 or 4, and then the last. I'll go over that again hopefully, but I think it's roughly that sort of an in increment on the way down. Oh my god. Welcome to the vlog! <laughs> Oh shit, sorry! Haha! <laughs> Wrong um, somebody or something. Yeah, he texted me a second ago and he was like, Where are you? I'm Best Sentra. There it is. Oh. <laughs> hey! Hey you! Hey, hey, hey! Hey you! That side. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ordered my one of these. I actually just need to go to a certain shop and. Yeah, so I ordered it and then um, it's still on the app as a available Oh, treat. pick up, yeah. Yeah, so I was like, I don't want two. Oh, that drive took a bit longer, about two hours to get to Limerick and we had to park in the middle of nowhere out at the Gillick football fields because Everyone in Limerick is in college today apparently and there's no car park spaces. How do you feel about the walk, Ronan? No, I won't mind the walk. Surprisingly, I won't mind the walk because my legs are a bit stiff. Yeah, that's actually a good point. So it'll, two hours in the car and your legs do get a bit tight. So, we've got a bit of a walk in now and then hopefully if they allow me, we'll get a bit of footage of the test. So, all the best. Trevor, he's telling me how fat I am, doing my skin folds, and then I'll find out whether I've got fatter or skinnier from last time. But I want to get a wee bit heavier because my body fat's a wee bit low for illness and training over the winter for in preventing injuries and keeping the body fat higher. So I have a bit of an immune system reserve. So this is the lab. 10.8. Next one. I'll be on that yoke in a
2 Max is all over. Um, Ruins just started his first step now. We've got some whey, milk, full of fat, and got a hydration tab with some water. And eating some cashew nuts. Um, the test went okay. The last step was difficult to keep the rate up and get the power down, but we haven't been doing much lactate work so I feel like compared to where I was before world champs I don't have that same high end speed but a good thing was my power and my heart rate and my lactates at the right up to like 44.5 interval um, in the, in the per 500 were quite good so I was only getting 1.3 millimoles of lactate right up to like into the 144s which is encouraging which means my respiratory fitness is is good but my anaerobic fitness isn't where it needs to be because it doesn't need to be there my overall vo2 was 6.1 if i can increase that to 6.25 or 6.3 this year then that will be good the testing is only just to see where we are it doesn't mean you're going to do well or doesn't mean things are are going perfect for you it just is an indicator of whether they're going bad or not. Like, if I have a VO2 of 6.9, doesn't mean I'm gonna win, but it means I have a greater potential of winning or I have better physiology to enable me to win. There's like so many different elements and one of the things that myself and Ronan, I think, have that to our advantage is a really good mentality about racing and really good aggressive uh, way in which we race. Coming a lot from Ronan and his stroke rate then how he stays calm and focused so the physiology is something we're really looking to improve but it's not the end of the day if we're not the most physiological double in, in the world because we know that we have other elements that we can bring into play when he's finished we'll jump in the car and head back down and i don't know whether we're training or not later i suppose we'll make that decision on the way but we probably might do something although i think ronan has a Gala ball. Mm -hmm. I used to see Quirk as Gala. Which Emily Haggard he's going to. Are you looking forward to your Gala ball? No. Are you looking forward to your egg test? No. Um, so Emily is a student athlete, aren't you Emily? Trying to be. And she's doing some, oh, she's filling out her form, but she's doing some uh, revision. And she has a lovely Holster t-shirt from Sarasota. <sighs> America. Emily loves a peace sign. Um, I feel it. As you can tell. <laughs> so, see you on the trip home. Big Ron's finished his VO2 max as well. I'm finished mine and we're heading back to Cork. It is 3 p.m. We left this morning at 9. It's a long day for such a short test of only 28 minutes of rowing, but we're both happy with our results. We're in a good place of where we need to be this season. Um, both in round six um, leaders and we know what we need to do for our UT2 which is like lactate threshold two to four millimole. We Ron has just received his Christmas presents. So you cracked this open now. Look at that there. Whack, whack they're, them on. they're bigger than I anticipated. Whack them on your face there and see how that looks. They're awful very big. Yeah, I think they look unreal. See, take them off there. And then see this thing, pull pull that up. There, right? And then they go in and out, so these elongate, so you can make these longer or shorter. And then you click this back down. See? So you can make the, the, the things longer or shorter. Handy, I suppose. Handy. Well, you might be doing a swap with Tara Hanlon. I'll uh, see what Miss Hamlin has to offer. Yeah,